but right now we're paddling in my canoe. I've named her Glenda, because I think that an old lady's name is fitting for a cedar strip canoe. She was built by a woman named Pam Wood, who owns a company called Bearwood Canoes. And it's not just a canoe. To me, it's a piece of artwork, and the craftsmanship is unparalleled. One of the things that I love most about this place is the nature, the wildlife. Luckily, luckily these swans are pretty used to us paddling with them. They're pretty friendly. Hey buddy. Probably since, since I was a kid, I struggled with depression and anxiety and so coming out here and having a break from the city and the hustle is really important to me because I don't need to book any time off. I can just take a boat over on the ferry for about $7 and feel like I'm escaping it. which is still a beautiful city to be in. I like the aphorism that the city of Toronto has printed on their park signs, that it's a city within a park. And I think that the green space is one of the reasons why I stay in Toronto and love it so much. My name is Josh Payne Smith. I've lived in Toronto since I was around eight years old. Before that, I was living in England and Holland. And I work in the local film industry in the camera department. Uh, I studied history and philosophy at U of T. Canoeing is one of those activities where you really feel like your own energy is connected with the energy of the water and the wind and the landscape. You have to find the right way to cut across the wind and the water. You have to conserve your energy and make sure you have enough food to travel with. Uh, and that it's not too heavy so that you can carry it over a long portage. Um, yeah, I think if I didn't have that opportunity, if I didn't have the opportunity to canoe and trip and camp, I wouldn't understand how beautiful the world around me really is. I've seen the Northern Lights twice and I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Have a good day. One of the things that I love about the islands is there's always people who are in a good mood and willing to share their love of this place and boating and all of that. And it doesn't matter if you've got a canoe or a yacht, a stand-up paddleboard, or whether you're just taking the ferry over, people are going to be friendly and want to share their love of this place. The canoe and the kayak are known for being stealthy. So you can sneak up. Oh, yeah. 
I've struggled with depression my whole life. Probably it got worse after I was mugged when I was 14. And at certain times in my life, it got so bad that I would vomit in the morning because my body thought that I must be sick because I was so anxious. And days like today have helped me more than any therapy or medication that I've tried. So if anyone else is struggling in that way, I really recommend to make nature a priority and, and communing with nature. Just make space for it because it helps more than you could know, at least for me. <laughs>